Now lockdown or no lockdown, the one thing that we all have in common is odds and ends of leftovers lying in your kitchen. It's so damn irritating when you have to endure it. It's literally pleading for mercy in your refrigerator to be used. When in times like that, all you need to do is get smart, get innovative, create new style egg rolls and just put everything within finishing all those from your kitchen. Let's get to creating it. Now while I'm creating egg rolls, I'm using some leftover Moroccan mutton mince, a small portion, literally 100 grams, just going within and finishing that off. But I'm going to style it up with a dip and a salad. So for the dip, I've taken half a cup of red kidney beans, soaked it overnight, fresh cooked it till they are just about done. They go into my food processor along with a large, large bunch of some cilantro. So I'm not bothering chopping everything up because I wanted to get blitzed totally together. With that in, half a teaspoon of salt along with four cloves of garlic finely minced. Now if you're really lazy, you can take the garlic and just put it in, but I hate pieces of garlic coming in your bite. So I like to mince that up along with six green chilies, the non-spiced variant, just to give it some heat and the juice of one humongously large lime. We are going to blitz all this together with some extra virgin olive oil and your dip is ready. While you blitz this, all you need to do now is take 25 ml of extra virgin olive oil and allow it to emulsify with the entire mix with it. Quite a chunky dip but highly, highly flavorful. Such a simple dip ready and it is so easy to create that you do not need to add any nuts or you need to add any cheese into it because the kidney bean is versatile in itself. And all you need to do is put it into a bowl and allow it to chill. Now while egg rolls happen really very fast and the dip is already chilling in the refrigerator, let's create a very wholesome meal with a salad and since it's mango season that has to has to has to go into the salad so firstly we're going to create a dressing a very malt hemp originated dressing so i've taken about 20 ml of malt vinegar i'm just going to season it with some black pepper first slight black pepper not too much along with some rosemary lavender sea salt And now into this, I'm going to take raw hemp seed oil and create a dressing, a very, very warm and comforting dressing. So equal quantities, so nearly 30 ml of raw hemp seed oil going in and you have a very dark green colored dressing, perfect for this salad. Raw hemp seed oil is a very thick and dense oil so it emulsifies really really fast. With this done we're just going to leave it on the side and toss our tomatoes, our cucumber and mango in it. I'm using small mini English cucumbers which are flavorful but at the same time they are very very dense in their overall flavoring. So all I'm going to do is cut it into half lengthwise and attractively cut them into shards. I'm not doing too much out here. I'm just giving it some different texture to the overall salad. Triangles work well or even just cut it into thick wedges. Sometimes I like to bruise it and put it straight into this salad. Now all you need to do is toss everything together and have a very, very simple salad, yet at the same time, perfect. So I've taken four tomatoes, squattered them, removed the pulpy goodness from within and cut it into dices. They're going in, along with 
three Alfonso mangoes just diced up. You put that in and you just toss this entire salad together. You need some greens and those greens come together with some spring onions. While this is such an attractive salad and perfect, all you need to do is take one spring onion, roughly cut it up and put it into this entire creation. Toss it, chill it and your salad is ready as well. Egg rolls happen really very fast. So you take about five to 10 mils of cooking oil into a pan, allow it to get nice and hot. And while I've taken two eggs and just whisk them up with some salt and pepper, you can do a veg version by taking some chickpea flour along with some yogurt, some spices and create a version of the same. So just allow this to Cook on the slowest possible heat and I'm just going random with some sage on it just to flavor the entire mix. A few shards of some leeks cut into fine, fine shards. Some olives. So I've taken about three green olives, just roughly mince them. Actually, just break them with your hand to make things so much more easier. It gives you that tartness that's required. Little specks of green chili. So about not even half a chili. I would say a quarter of a chili going in. And finally, that leftover Moroccan mince that I had, I'm just going to put it in and loosen the entire thing out. About a tablespoon and half. You can use any leftover vegetable that you have or anything that suits your fancy. Finally, some sliced cheese. So one slice just going in and I'm using a tortilla wrap out here. You can go right ahead and use some flatbread, some roti or even a chapati if you are fond of that. Just smash it down. And then comes a little bit of drama with a great, great flip. While that flipped and what a flip it was, it's a little drama that I enjoy here and there. Now you want to toast the other side of the tortilla as well. So just allow it to toast and we're going to roll this up into that perfect egg roll. Now with this nicely toasted and nearly done, all we're going to do is roll this baby up. Slide this straight on my board. And we're just going to roll this up. What a perfect, perfect egg roll ready. Cutting this into half and we're just going to make another one now. Pan nice and hot, five mils of normal cooking oil, allow it to get nice and hot. I'm particularly fond of a perfect toasted tortilla and I just like it to crunch up a little more so giving it another two minutes before we slide it off and just roll it. Just roll this up as well and I like the toastiness. Look at that, beautiful rolled up. Just cut it and plate it. And we're going to go a little bit fancy out here because it's egg rolls, you need to style it up. Egg rolls ready. Salad in a bowl and I'm just going a little old school with my dip plated on the side. Well, I hope you enjoyed creating a simple hack that makes leftover cooking truly, a, not a task, but truly interesting. And more importantly, it gives you that one up 
that you've managed to trick the family into finishing all the odds and ends that you have lying around. Don't forget to share loads of love by hitting on the like button. Stay safe, stay blessed, and more importantly, don't forget to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.